Hi there. In this video, I would show some of the features of uh, this e-commerce app uh, I worked on. Uh, this application is created using Nuxt 3 and uh, the API is uh, created in Django, uh, which uses a data set from uh, Kegel.com. So I had uh, the video on um, the API. Uh, it's available on my channel. So you can check it out and as always i would be attaching the github link uh, with uh, this uh, you can find it in the description uh, so this is the ui it uses uh, this popular library called beautify for this uh, ui components so this is the official uh, website of uh, beautify so uh, talking about features, uh, we have uh, pagination in it. We can search uh, for items. For example, if I want to search for uh, items uh, uh, belonging to this uh, Reebok brand. Uh, so we have uh, quite a few brands. Uh, so nine pages uh, are there. I am currently showing, uh, I think, uh, 10 results per page. Yeah. So if I want to go to, uh, let's say page number six, I can go. Um, so this is the, like, this is slightly different uh, from the conventional pagination. You just have one in, uh, input box where you can uh, enter the page number, which you want to go. If you want to enter an invalid value, it would uh, redirect you to a, a, like the default page, which is the first page. So you have next page and previous page functions as well. Let's try something different. Uh, let's say this time I want to search for Nike and uh, yeah, I have three pages. So um, 10 results per page, so 30 results in total. And we also have the details of view where it shows the price, discounted price and the ratings. And uh, this link, if you click here, it would actually uh, navigate you to the actual product link this uh, data is coming from mintra.com which is uh, a very popular e-commerce store in india the country i belong to so yeah uh, you have uh, around 1000 pages uh, so around 10000 results uh, taking 10 items per page let's So this is the official uh, website of Next.js. It's a server-side rendering framework uh, built on top of Vue.js. And um, it's, it uh, has a lot of features out of the box, like uh, routing is there. So yeah, it does uh, make a lot of things easy. So yeah, it's uh, basically similar to Next.js, which we have in React. Uh, this is the actual uh, API which I created in Django. It is running in uh, one of the terminals which I have opened on my Mac. I also have this uh, on my GitHub account and uh, a video on it as well. So if you feel like checking it out, please do so. It has around, uh, as I mentioned, 1000 items and uh, 1000 pages and uh, 10,000 items. And all these items were taken from uh, one of the data sets which I found on kegel.com. Okay, so let's talk about some of the features of this application uh, at code level. Uh, so the, as I already mentioned, uh, it's uh, a Nuxt app. So we have uh, pages at the root level. So you don't uh, need to add the explicit routing. Uh, so we have some dummy pages and uh, items page with uh, the, the item details and uh, for store management uh, i have used uh, pinia store uh, you can find this inside uh, a store folder and item.js so this is the um, this is the place where i am calling the apis and storing the data in a uh, centralized store created by uh, pinia and then i am importing this pinia store 
so i have this uh, configured i think it is in uh, okay just let me check okay so in uh, nuxt.js uh, you add uh, this uh, packages so for example uh, i've used pinia uh, as i already mentioned uh, to configure it uh, we go to this nuxt config file and we have this uh, modules array here i have added this line pinia nuxt.js so uh, yeah this is responsible for configuring the uh, store pinia store and uh, we also have uh, beautify here okay so and i am also using a dark theme but there are some issues with it which i might try to resolve later but yeah uh, right now it's not working so yeah uh, that is it guys for this video uh, please uh, do check out this repository um, learn the aspects of uh, next.js it's really a fun framework to work with uh, from my personal experience uh, so yeah that is it if you like this video if this uh, video did uh, add some value to it please consider subscribing to my channel and yeah see you in the other video thanks a lot for watching and stay tuned for more programming related videos